Next up, we have three more operators that are extremely useful. You'll see them all the time. They're called logical operators, and they're a bit different than what we've seen so far. They kind of modify other Boolean expressions. So we've been writing conditionals that have a single expression inside of them, like if x is less than 10, that's it. Or if password.length is uh, greater than or equal to 6. And we can get by doing that, but sometimes we want to write more complex expressions inside of these parens. And that's where these three operators come in. They might look a little funky if you're new to programming entirely. The three operators are called AND, OR, and NOT. And the first one we'll take a look at is called AND. AND is created or written using two ampersands in a row. One ampersand is not going to cut it. We need two of them. And what it does is it takes two separate Boolean expressions, a left side and a right side. They both evaluate to either true or false. And the entire thing, this entire line, will only be true if both sides came out to be true. So there's a left and a right, and when you use AND, the whole expression is true only if both sides are true. If one of them is false, the entire thing is false. So here's a simple example. These are hard-coded. We know what the answers are. Is 1 less than or equal to 4? Yes, that's true. So we have true and, and then is a equal to a? That's true. So we have true and true, and that gives us true. So in my console, if I tried something like something really simple, true and true gives me true. True and false gives me false, because one side is false. It doesn't matter if it's the left or the right. If either is false, the whole thing is considered false. So false and false is going to be false, just like false and true is also false. So this is kind of useless, <laughs> other than just teaching how it works. Usually we have expressions like, well, this is still very silly, but is one less than or equal to two and five equals five? Well, this part's true, this part is true, the whole thing is true. So that's the basics of and in a vacuum, without a conditional, without realistic conditions. You have two sides, both sides have to be true for the whole thing to be true. So something like this is false because abc.length is three, but one plus one is not equal to four. One plus one is two, that is not four. So the whole thing is false. So here is a better example of when you would use something like this. Back when we were writing our first password checking example a couple sections or a couple videos ago, we had this right here. We were checking if password.length is greater than or equal to six. And if it was, we were checking if it contained a space or if it did not contain a space. So in order to get a valid password, we had two things that needed to happen. It had to be six characters or more, and it could not include a space. So we can achieve that logic by nesting two ifs, or we can combine them into one statement like I have right here. This is only true, this entire line right here is only true if password.length is greater than or equal to six and password.index of space is equal to negative one. So we could try that out. We'll do something similar. We might tweak it just a bit. So we'll have password, we'll set it equal to chicken gal, and then we'll write our conditional. So if password.length is greater than or equal to, let's go with eight this time, and password.index of, I'll zoom out a bit, password.index of space is equal to negative one, which means it does not exist in that password string, then we'll console.log valid password. Otherwise, we'll console.log invalid password. Cool. So we now have two pieces of logic combined into one statement. This entire thing has to be true in order to get a valid password. And I think our example we have does give us a valid password. If we added a space in, now we get invalid because this portion is false. So if all we need is a simple, yes, it's valid or no, it's invalid, then this works great. But if we compare that to what we had earlier, 
we actually had specific feedback that said, password cannot include spaces versus password is too short. Right now, we just have yes or no, valid or invalid. And that's shorter, it's easier to look at, but if you need specific, uh, a specific breakdown, you need to differentiate between each piece, then you probably wanna nest. You don't wanna have a Boolean and. But if you just need two things to be true, or you can even do more than two, you can combine multiple ands together and chain them, it just gets quite long for a single line. Anyway, let's take a look at one more example. Another common use case for and is to check if a number is within a specified range. So let's say we're asking a user to guess or to pick a number from 1 to 10. And we want to make sure it's between 1 and 10. So we'll define let num, let's set it to 3 to start. And we'll check if num is greater than or equal to 1, not 11. That's one part, but that's not it because we could have 99. That's greater than or equal to 1. So we also add in our and num is less than or equal to 10. We could also rewrite this as less than 11, although that would allow somebody to have 10.3. So we, we can't assume that it's going to be a whole number. So I'm gonna go back to less than or equal to 10. So this is now saying if a number is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to 10, essentially if it's between one and 10, then that's a valid guess. Console.log number is between one and 10. So here we go. I've just fleshed it out with our else and a console.log. If we test it out, I'll comment out the original code and refresh. We get number is between one and 10. If we change it to 30, it doesn't work. If we change it to one, does it work? Yes, number is between one and 10 and so on. So that's another situation where you can use and. It comes up all the time. Often you have multiple conditions you need to check for in order to run code. You can nest things, but sometimes it makes sense to put them together using Boolean AND or logical AND.